Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Now, as you can see, I am not at home. I'm in a different location, but we got the Holy Spirit back there. See my hand put through, through that Holy Spirit glow? That's just, I love that glow. Just beautiful. Anyway, we will be reading for Friday. Today is Friday, August the 23rd, 2024. Praise God, seven minute read timer, seven minute read timer. We're reading from Exodus, the 21st chapter, the seventh verses. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. Timer set, and it reads And if a man shall sell his daughter to be a maid servant, she shall not go out as the men servants do. If she please not her master, who hath betrothed her to himself, then shall he let her be redeemed to sell her unto a strange nation. He shall have no power, seeing he hath dealt deceitfully with her. And if he hath betrothed her unto his son, he shall deal with her after the manner of daughters. And if he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall not diminish. And if he do not these three unto thee, then shall she go out free without money. He that smiteth the man so that he died shall be surely put to death. And if a man lie not in wait, but God deliver him into his hand, then I will appoint thee a place whither he shall flee. But if a man come presumptuously upon his neighbor to slay him with guile, thou shalt take him from mine altar that he may die. And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall be, sh shall be surely put to death. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And he that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. And if men strive together and one smite another with a stone or with his fist, and he die not, but keepeth his bed, if he rise again and walk abroad with upon his staff, and shall he that smite him be quit, only he shall pay for the loss of his time, and shall cause him to be thoroughly healed. And if a man smite his servant or his maid with a rod, and he die under his hand, he shall be surely punished. Notwithstanding, if he continue a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his money. If, a, if men strive and hurt a woman with child, so that her fruit depart from her, and yet no mischief follow, he shall be surely punished, according as the woman's husband will lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judges determine. And if any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life to life, eye to eye, tooth to tooth, hand to hand, foot to foot, burn to burn, wound to wound, and stripe for stripe. And if a man smite the eye of his servant or the eye of his maid, that it perish, he shall let him go free for his eye's sake. And if he smite out his manservant's tooth or his maidservant's tooth, he shall let him go free for his tooth's sake. If an ox gore a man or a woman that thy die, then the ox shall be surely stoned, and his flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall be quit. But if the ox were wont to be were wont to push with his horn in time past, and it had been testified to his owner, and he hath not kept him in, but that he hath killed a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned and his owner also shall be put to death. Now if there be laid on him a sum of money, then he shall give for the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him. Upon him. Whether he have gored a son or have gored a daughter, or according to this judgment shall it be done unto him. If the ox shall push a manservant or maidservant, he shall give unto their master thirty shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. And if a man shall open a pit, or if a man shall dig a pit and not cover it, 
and an ox or an ass fall therein. The owner of the pit shall make it good, and give money unto the owner of them, and the dead beast shall be his. And if one man's ox hurt another's, that he die, then they shall then they shall sell the live ox and divide the money of it, and the dead ox also they shall divide. Or if it be known that the ox had used to push in time past, and his owner hath not kept him in, he shall surely pay ox for ox, and the dead shall be his own. Chapter twenty two. Now if a man shall steal an ox or a sheep, and keep it, or sell it. He shall restore five oxen for an ox, and four sheep for a sheep. If a theft, if a thief, if a thief be found breaking up, and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. If the thief be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or axe or sheep, he shall restore double. If a man shall cause a field or a vineyard to be eaten, and shall put in his beast and shall feed in another man's field, of the beast of his own field and of the beast of his own vineyard, shall he make restitution. If fire break out and catch in thorns so that the stacks of corn or the stack in corn or the field be consumed therewith, he that kindleth the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. If the thief be, found, be not found, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges, to see whether he have put his hand unto his neighbor's goods. For all manner of trespass, whether it be for ox, for ass, for sheep, for raiment, or for any manner of lost thing, which, which another cha challenge to be his, the cause of both parties shall come before the judges, and whom the judges shall condemn, he shall pay double unto his neighbor. If a man delivered unto his neighbor an ass, or an ox, or a sheep, or any beast to keep, and it die, or be hurt, or driven away, no man seeing it. Okay, let's see what the conclusion is. No man seeing it, then an oath of the Lord be between them both, and he hath put not put his hand unto his neighbor's goods, and the owner of it shall accept thereof, and he shall not make it good. And if it be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof. If it be torn in pieces, then let him bring it for witness, and he shall not make good that which was torn. Okay, so that's the end of that, about the ox and whatever they was doing, right? So we read all these laws that, that God is giving at, uh, from the mountain. Um, we read through Exodus 22nd chapter, uh, the 14th verses. That will bring us to Saturday, 8.24. 8, 24, 24 will be Saturday's read. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word today. Praise God. So we thank God for that reading, that of the seven-minute read. If you want to be a blessing, you can send your donation to dollar sign uh, Mama Pam 23, cash app, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. Also, you can always get these beautiful pieces of jewelry that you see me wearing every day. This piece here is $5, $5, $5. Had them on both arms. I took them off while I was reading, right? $5, earrings, $5. And a beautiful little necklace, $5, $5, $5. Thank you, Lisa. Until then, no commentary. I'm not reading any commentary right now. God bless.